pickle witch starts to fade and she like starts to lose her beauty in the mirror and I'm like, is this an analogy for Botox and filler? Segue into what I would like, like to call the injectable so ass discussion. Oh look, and they show me the fad. So <laughs> Marilyn Monroe used to get Botox and fillers. Bunny line? Bunny line. Yeah, like right a bunny. Like so they put them in there and they put like Angela and Jolie went to my doctor. Yeah. All my girlfriends at the Playboy Mansion, they use fillers and it's preventative for wrinkles. And if I can prevent myself from aging, then I better do it now. Saying that two days ago, I got a whole load to my face and I am very puffy because of this. So injections take a few weeks for them to like settle in and not to look kind of crazy. So right now I feel... Like I can go out in public and we can do this video, but I can see that it's too puffy and I know it's going to go down. And so I tell myself that, but it's a little bit startling because it looks so different than when I went in. I go to a girl named Jovi. She's amazing. She's like 62. She looks like she's 25. I'm not even kidding. She's <laughs> literally one of the most attractive people I've ever met. And her personality is so sweet. Like I love everything about her. So most people say that they need to get Botox done every like, three months and Juvederm every like four to five months. I wait one year in between. This time I just got it in my lips, which are very, very small. And I just got it in my forehead. Basically just no up lines. here. Yeah. So now I don't have any lines, but it looks almost like I can't move it because it's so new. She makes you wrinkle as hard as you can in your forehead, like now I can't move it. But when I was in there, I definitely could and she just like filled up that part. I love them. I like, I swear by fillers. I think they look so good. They make me feel like fresh and I like the fullness it gives you, but it's definitely something that you need to be careful with. And she wouldn't let me get my um, smile lines down because she said, oh no, you're good. You don't need them. Even though I had, hadn't been in a year. She's like, no, I don't want you to do that. I think it prevents you from creasing your face. People say that it's preventative for wrinkles, but my theory is if you're not wrinkling your forehead, you must be wrinkling other parts of your face that you're not getting the Jupiter. <laughs> and I just feel like your nose and under your eyes. Bunny lines. Yes. You have these. Yeah, so like I what, get those. You know, I used to have to take anxiety medication and have to go in a half hour prior to my appointment to, to calm down because I have uh, a paranoia of needles, which is very ironic, but I do. And then she puts this very, very intense numbing cream that you literally cannot feel anything on your entire face. It takes to actually do the fillers 10 minutes, max 15 at the most. Mine How much so much hurt? longer. Like so quick. It, <laughs> it takes it truly, longer. I'm not exaggerating. At this current moment in my life, it does not hurt. In the beginning, it was like a fear and anxiety and like, I just filled it up in my head and now because I've done it so many times and I just feel like so much more confident about it and I trust her, it just kind of feels like um, a quick, I don't want to say a bee sting because that sounds like it really hurts, but it feels like you're getting a little prick, a little needle real quick and the pain goes away. So you said you were 21 when you got your, your boobs and your nose done, right. but you did not say how old you were, I don't think, when you first got Botox or Juvederm. I got did my you get them both first at the same time? fillers. Yeah, Botox and Juvederm, I always get together, and I probably started at age 23, and I'm 27 this year, so. Did anyone kind of like push you into it, or like anyone that you worked with say like, Okay, you have to go get that now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, you know, here's time. The cool part, or you just felt it. The cool part about, at least for me, I feel like I've never been pressured into plastic surgery. You can analyze, like, you know, socialization and other girls that I've been around and hang out with. And, like, I've always had an insecurity about, like, my nose. So that's why I wanted to get a nose job. And um, I was a nude model. So I just wanted my boobs to look perfect. So I got them to be perfect. So how much did it cost when you went? This last time I paid $650 for lips and Botox and I got a lot of Botox actually because I hadn't been in one year. So do you pay, don't you pay like by the vial or how do you pay for it? They well, say the unit but everyone's different. Right? Like my doctor yeah. doesn't let you say the unit. My girl tries to use it all the way up and if she doesn't think you need all of it she'll just still charge you for what you open. So it sounds like she does like the Botox in the forehead. You said you didn't get the smile lines done this time but you got them done before. One year ago. And then you get the Juvederm in, in both of your lips. Uh huh. Juvederm in my lips and when I do do the smile lines I do Juvederm. I like Juvederm. I just think it's no Botox only Botox in your forehead. Yeah. Juvederm here, Juvederm yeah. here. You're too young to get fillers under your eyes, so I'm not going to give them to you under your eyes, but that's what I keep begging for, and she won't give them to me. You don't really have like sunken in under I'm your eyes. I have that though. once. I've had it. Well, well, I just feel like I did it for It did hurt, actually. <laughs> 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 
Yeah. Um, if I fear if it hurts, I'll do it. But she's like, no, you're going to age faster. It was bruised, though. It was so bruised, so incredibly bad for, like, two weeks. Like, it would look like I got punched in the face. Ouch. Yeah. Do you guys ever try to get, like, a deal where, like, it'll advertise for the office? I've done that Maybe. before. You have done that? Yeah. <laughs> I have. Yeah, what did you get for it? Um, well, honestly, my first boob job, I so got, I got modeled. I did yes. modeled, modeled, and then also I sent him like three clients. So it was three of the girls that I knew and were friends of, like went there. So I got my boobs for free. Yeah, and in like, Georgia, sixteen or 17. 17, 17. <laughs> but it's legal. It's legal. <laughs> it's legal consent. With parental consent. Yeah. Well, I got my boobs real, and I went to an amazing doctor, uh, Randall Hayworth, and he's from Beverly Hills. And I love my boobs so much better. They were saline before, now they're silicone. I wasn't even old enough when I first got my boobs to even get silicone. So much softer, much better, I'm like almost pretty much the same size. She thinks that they're bigger. I mean, because Botox, I can go like six to eight months and then I get it again. That's usually like my, what I do. But they say six months is the average. Do either of you guys get it, sorry, in your but, in your eyebrows? So like do No, it's, it's on you your forehead. You can't and get it, it, it in your eyebrows. eyebrows. It goes like, yes. yes, but I like that. I like that's that. That's why I ask them to do like that. But they don't touch your eyebrows. They touch your forehead and yeah. they use muscles to make your eyebrows. It's always here. So it's like, because I make a lot of faces, obviously. <laughs> but when you have sex on film, it's even worse. You're because like, ah, you're just like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> disgusting forehead expression. I go to Dr. Randall Hayward and he does his own, like he specializes in faces and he does his own fillers and usually nurses or whatever do the fillers. He does his own fillers and he's a perfectionist and he spends literally so how much does like it cost? 30, 30 <laughs> minutes on my lips, 40 minutes. Like he is such a perfectionist, it's crazy. And he uses Juvederm and I haven't been in a year but I'm, I'm going to go back like a week. But um, he costs pretty expensive, it's 850. Yeah. For what? The lips or the the lips. And then I haven't gotten this or touched this. How in, much is it? My holes. Five hundred dollars. That's how much it was last time. I went. He's expensive. He is, but he's. I trust him with my face. Chicks get too many fillers like in their cheeks, Which and then they start doing lumpy. No, I never done it. I never done it. And never done it in here. Never done it in my cheeks. The no. only thing when I had my surgery, I had a fat transfer. And they put like some underneath my eyes, but they did it very minimally, and I have never touched my eyes since then. And then they put some right here, so it was my own fat, but I feel like it kind of dissolved. It didn't even stay. Oh, look, and they show me the fat. That's so cool. Cool. Isn't that gross? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, into like, what I, I would like to call the injectable much. ass discussion. Why didn't you tell them about what you did to your butt? What? Oh, I got it. I put fat injections. I didn't know what the secret. I put fat injections in my butt um, because I got lipo and I didn't really even need it. I just did it because I wanted to. Like fat transfer? <laughs> yeah. Wait, did you get fat transferred into your butt? Yeah, but it's <laughs> <laughs> and it was like she's my spirit Honestly, animal. It was amazing because when I first looked at it, you guys should see pictures. It looks so, so good. Besides this, I'm blank. No, because I'm like I'm literally in the mirror and it's like all oh, black and bruised, but my ass is amazing. And then I was it went crying away. When I saw oh. it. it went away literally, babe, and like. Four months, five months, it started to fade because fifty percent of the fat transfer stays. And not, it's not even guaranteed. Does it go anywhere weird? It's no. That's yeah, the thing. it does no. to some girls. Fat transfer is the safest sure way. Yeah. Fat transfer is the safest <laughs> way to do this procedure. So Spencer did it the right way. It dissolves into your body. It goes away in four or five months. To me, it's not worth it, but to her, it less. With butt injections, even though I'm not going to lie, I, like, I really butt. want them. Like In my heart, I want them, but I know <laughs> that I have seen the worst of the worst in my heart. And <laughs> the implants look even crazier. And so I think it's just agreed upon that you need to work out to get that ass. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, and if you do it the right way, do a fat transfer. Yeah. Yeah. Don't get anything permanent like implants. They have implant fillers. Yeah, yeah like so crazy. crazy. Just, every person I know has taken them out. And so. um, it's just not it's not a good look. Nobody in my family is like into plastic surgery. Oh, um, my right. sister. <laughs> <laughs> No, you have not. Yes, she's also 19 years old, so <laughs> My girlfriend got injections with a, with a chemical into her ass. Well, that went in, <laughs> into her Some people vaginal area. Oh. Her vagina is the star of the camera, so it's a real problem because people were starting to say that they could see her vagina swollen and there's like something in it. And it's like, it's Horrible. And so I you guys aren't gonna go on like Groupon. No, 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 girl. I can't explain no, it I, enough. If you can't afford plastic surgery, don't get plastic surgery. No, you have to keep 
Okay. You don't want someone bad like a surgeon. Spencer and I are in a business. We don't want to see bad classes day in and day out. And no. we want to tell girls not to do it unless you can do it. And he's a perfectionist. It's like he is such a perfectionist, it's crazy.